If you're looking for a way to get your fire started, check out ProCampTech.com. They've got fat rope stick, fire strip roll, and more. Check them out, ProCampTech.com. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at these, which are the Hakes Scout Hiking Boot. Now, when you shoot videos about boots or shoes, it's kind of interesting because if the camera is zoomed in on your feet, you're like talking down, it's kind of awkward. So what I'm gonna do is talk to you about the boot. We'll zoom in on the boots and show you some of the different features, and then I'm just gonna roll in footage of the boots in use. I've had these for probably a month and a half now, and I am very impressed with them. I've had some boots in the past that worked well, um, but these are probably one of the best pairs of hiking boots I've ever used. Um, I had some muck boots recently, probably like a year or two ago. They were snake proof and the sole just started right in the front especially. It started to um, come off of the boot, which is disconcerting, especially for like a muck boot. So it might have just been a lemon from them, I'm not totally sure, but these have been really good. You can see they've definitely been used and tested out. So let me give you some of the details on them and talk about why I think they're a boot you might want to investigate. Let's talk about materials first. We have the Hakes Climate System, and I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute. We have Gore-Tex, and then we have European Nubuck Leather. As you can see here, we do have rubber over the toe, toe there, and then in the back as well. So that's just gonna give extra stability and keep the, uh, keep the elements out. The other thing too is that if you're gonna be throwing on a pair of crampons, you could do that, and you've got a nice strong covering on the front and the back as well. Here's a look at your sole, and you can see right in the middle, Vibram. See, these are good, solid soles. And um, what I'll tell you as far as flexibility is that um, they offer a little bit of flex, but they are very stable and strong. So uh, years ago, I did um, a hike of the entire presidential range in New Hampshire, and I had a friend who did the Appalachian Trail, and she said to me she would have done it again in um, tennis shoes just because it limits the weight so much. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it in running shoes. So I did and it was lightweight, but when your foot is stepping on a rock like right here and your shoes just keep doing this, it tires your foot out a lot. So to have a nice, solid um, uh, sole on the boot makes a big difference as far as just your overall comfort, especially if you're stepping over lots of rocks and branches and trees all day long. Another feature here is what they call the two zone lacing system. So you have one system for the lower and another system for the upper. So if you want it really snug across the, the top of your foot, great, and you want it looser around the ankle or vice versa, really snug here and then looser here, it allows you to do that. Now another thing that's really cool about this is that they've got this system and I've seen it on other boots, but I think this is the best like application of it, but you got this basically this toggle. So you set up your, um, set up your laces how you want them, you crank them down, you pull the toggle down like so and then right here there's like a little neoprene pocket and so you take the extra lace and just stuff it down the side and that way you don't have laces that are like getting caught up on things or whatever so that's what it looks like I mean they are totally out of the way no issues as you're hiking with these uh, with these boots your inner liner on the boots is Gore-Tex that means water like moisture can come out and yet it won't let water in which is obviously what you're looking for in a boot so let me talk about the Hakes Climate System real quick. Sometimes companies have these claims about you know a feature on their product and then when you test it, you're like, yeah, you're just making stuff up. What I can tell you about these is that the Hakes Climate System is supposed to help with temperature control so your feet aren't getting too hot or too cold. And my experience is that it definitely works. One of my tests for boots is, um, does it like do I notice my feet all day long? Are they cold? Are they hot? Are they wet? Whatever. Alright, so a real quick like life application uh, with these boots, not just looking at them in a studio or something, but uh, I've been wearing these all day long. As you can see, I'm working on a, a little bit of a shelter out here, kind of a scout um, shelter that's out in some woods that I've got a uh, freedom to use. But anyhow, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've been out here, you know, several hours having some lunch, uh, cutting some wood, building this shelter, working on a fire pit things like that, and what I can tell you as far as noticing my feet is that I haven't noticed them at all. They're not uncomfortable. I'm not like, oh, my feet are wet. I did on the way out have to step into a stream and through it, and um, I didn't walk through a stream you know, for 10 minutes or something like that, but step in and then step out, and my feet are totally dry. So these things have been awesome so far. Um, yeah, just wanna give you a real quick sense of having been in the woods with them for a solid, you know, I don't know, three hours maybe or so, let's give or, give or take. Um, and working the entire time, not really sitting around that much. They've been super comfortable. So yeah, real life application in the woods, these, uh, these scout boots have been pretty awesome. If I'm not noticing my feet, to me that's a good sign. And with these guys wearing smart wool socks and having these on for quite a while, I came home and I wasn't like, oh, my feet are freezing or they're hot, they're wet, whatever. I just took the boot off and I was like, okay, it's nice to have my shoes off after being in the woods all day. But 
I wasn't um, noticing any like significant challenges with the temperature, I should say. So that's pretty impressive to me. Between the Gore-Tex and then this system that Hakes has come up with, I think it's they've been pretty impressive for me to actually use. Um, and again, I don't want to have to like triple layer socks. I don't want to have to wear a really thin sock because I'm going to get too hot. I just want to put on a pair of smart wool socks and go. And between the socks and the boots, I had no issues as I was wearing them. Now the reason I'm calling this video a first look is because especially with boots, you know, you use them for a while and then you got to break them in. I feel like these are broken in now. They're comfortable. Um, but I want to wear them for a while, while more because when I tested those muck boots a while ago, they worked and then all of a sudden the sole started coming off like, you know, six months in. So I'm going to call this a, a first look and then I'm going to keep wearing them and test them out. So far, I've been very impressed with these boots though. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, links to their website down below in the description section if you want to head over there and learn more about them. And I'll put links if you're interested in purchasing them as well. You can do that. I didn't get any kickback from these guys. They said, hey, we want you to check out these boots. They do have some tactical boots as well that they offered, but these were more of interest for me at this point. I'm not a you know professional police. I'm not a police officer or firefighter. I'm not in the military. Um, so I don't feel like I've got the level of experience to say, as a tactical boot, those other boots worked great for me in those applications. Maybe they're a great boot just to wear around or out in the woods and stuff, but I don't, I don't want to speak to something I don't have any expertise or I don't have any experience in. So that being said, I spent a lot of time in the outdoors. These have worked great. And um, your price point for these is upwards of 200 bucks. I think it was 245 when I first saw them. So these are not for the faint of heart. That's why I'm telling you this is a first look because I want to use them for a while longer and then let you know, hey, these could be a you know one-time investment that you make and then you have them for the next 10, 15 years, whatever it is, depending on how much you're obviously out in the woods and how much you're using them. But uh, yeah, so I've been obviously very happy with these boots so far. If you're going to spend over 200 bucks on a boot, it should last a long time. And I have a feeling that these are going to move to the top of the list for me as far as my footwear. All right, so here's a look at both of them as I wrap up here. Hey, if you ever... Um, used any of the products made by these guys before or you have any familiarity with them let me know i had never heard of them before they contacted me but i'm glad they did and um yeah i'd like to hear your thoughts on these boots um what you think of them from what you've seen and then also if you've done some research or if you own some let's hear your thoughts on that all right guys thanks as always for checking out the videos please subscribe to everyday tactical vids just click that little red subscribe button and then click the bell so you get notifications when we put up new videos we're on social media we're on facebook twitter instagram tumblr and vero as well we always have more videos coming soon so check back often all right take care